Woo! Hey, what's up, guys? So today we are in the ocean. We gotta compare the Cool Camp 3 uh, and the Insta 21 RS and the Insta 26 X3 stabilization test in the crazy ocean. Look at that way! And we're gonna run to it to see how good is stabilization. Let's do this, guys! <laughs> Whoa! Maybe not! Oh shit! Oh shit! Well, luckily the Cool Cam 3 is waterproof up to 10 meters. In this super in-depth review video, we will put this GoPro Max Locker Light Action 360 camera in all kinds of extreme conditions to test its stabilization, image quality, focal distance, durability, and extreme low light performance. And yes, we even compare it to the $15,000 professional 360 camera, the Insta 360 Titan, to find out if the hype is true or not. Well, spoiler alert! The low ISO is better than 1RS 1 inch in high ISO. This video is more than just a review and showcase video. We are going to discuss which 360 camera you should buy in late 2023 by comparing them all side by side in 360 video, 360 photo, and even 360 sunset time lapse. So don't buy any 360 camera before you watch this video, especially if you want to save money. If you want to create real immersive 360 experience, topic like ambisonic spatial audio are extremely important and no one on the internet even mentioning it. We will cover that as well in this video. Our goal is to empower you as the next generation storyteller. With the right 360 camera and the knowledge, you will be able to create content that wow your audience in VR and in social media. Let's dive right in. This is how I lost my shoes on Laguna Beach. Only a 360 camera can capture an embarrassing moment like this. And also, don't check out hot girls when you are filming with a backpack full of cameras. Be present. Hey, what's up everybody? It is your boy Hugh here. No time for bullshit or back Joe. Let's talk about specs. CoolCam 3 features a larger image sensor. Not as big as the 1 inch like the Insta 1 RS 1 inch, but bigger than X3, X2, GoPro Max, or Theta X. Basically, any consumer to see camera under 5,000 US dollars. It also has the fastest aperture among all 360 cameras, f1.6, with its brand new design fisheye lens. Here is the aperture comparison. Not only a faster lens, Coolcam 3 is also one of the first consumer 360 camera featuring a larger pixel size sensor, 2 micrometers. Most of the other brands at best is at 1.4. All you hear on the internet is the importance of an image sensor size, the bigger the better. But almost no one point out the pixel size. Bigger pixel size simply let more light into each pixel of a given sensor so it performs better in low light condition without in a sharper image with more details and a less digital noise. In short, CoolCam 3 is great at low light condition. To really test this, we bought the CoolCam 3 in a dimly lit bar on Venice Beach and also inside a nightclub where there's a live DJ set. So far, no action 360 camera can handle indoor concert or nightclubs like this. Insta 1 RS 1 inch is the only one kinda okay with ISO under 600, but dark nightclub, you really need a professional VR camera like the Insta 2 Titan here to shoot. We put a cool cam 3 on top of an Insta 2 Titan to shoot an unfair comparison test. Before I show you that, let's compare Insta 2 1 RS 1 inch with cool cam 3 in the exact same low light condition. 
in front of a CDJ turntable shooting a live DJ set. If you know me, I shoot a lot of nice scenes, music festival, rave, and concert in 260C. Having good low light performance is extremely important to me. This is at menu exposure, ISO 1000, and shutout 1 over 30. Left is Cool Cam 3 and right is in stock to 1 S1 inch. Cool Cam 3 let more light into the image sensor thanks to its f1.6 aperture and 2 micrometer pixel size. Coupled with its close to 1 inch image sensor, it really handled the image exceptionally well, even in ISO 1000. Not only does it look brighter than 1 S1 inch, the image has more details. 3 frames here and take a look at the DJ t-shirt. You can still clearly read the text and logo. You can tell the DJ is wearing a Witcher style medallion, but in the 1RS1 inch result, you can't see anything. When in high ISO, all Action 360 camera has its soft, furry, denoised look, make the image unusable. Kendall is noisy in ISO 1000, but all the details are still captured beautifully, which allow me to easily remove the noise in AI software like Topaz Video AI in post. I wouldn't be able to recover any detail in 1 on S1 inch as the detail were never there. That is a key difference and to me, the strongest advantage of CoolCam 3. Let's take a look at comparison of CoolCam 3 versus a 15,000 US dollar in Star Wars Titan. For shits and giggle. Wow, the $300 ish CoolCam 3 is matching the Titan at a glance. Yes, the Titan handles low light a lot better and very low noise, but it still shows you how impressive CoolCam 3 low light performance. I wish this is released before Burning Man 2023 this year, so we can capture some impossible playa nighttime footage like this one. Well, next year, when there's no rain, hashtag Raining Man 2023. A wide aperture does have one drawback, by the way, this is not a sponsored video, and like all my camera reviews video, I will point out the good and the bad. Here is a macro 360 video test. I put different action figures in different distance, and it runs dry eyes around the camera to create a mystical miniature 360 scene. Here is the result. The result actually looks pretty great, as you can see. But Tanjiro from Demon Slayer is in focus, but Sailor Moon and the cat are slightly out of focus. Now, let's look at stabilization, which is very important for an action 360 camera, especially for 2D reframed video on social media. I'm running and jumping like a crazy guy on the beach. People are laughing at me and think I'm crazy or something. Hey, I do this for you. So don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe if you are new here, and drop me a comment down below. From top to bottom, we have one on S1 inch, Cool Cam 3, and X3. We draw a horizon line so you can easily see the result. Most of the reviews only show you the reframed result, which is only 90 degrees. This is a more accurate format. You also notice the dynamic range. The dark versus bright part of the image, Cool Cam 3 is better than X3 and 1 inch. This is again because of a larger pixel size. So large pixel size also benefit in very bright daylight under sun with extreme dynamic range. But let's play the video right now and focus on stabilization. All three cameras are pretty stable, but one RS 1 inch and X3 hug the horizon line better than Cool Cam 3, and it's pretty obvious. Cool Cam 3 eventually back to the horizon level. On the direction lock, Cool Cam 3 is also not as smooth as in Star 260. I did report my finding to Kendall, and they are working on improving the stabilization. In Star 260 does have some witchcraft on image stabilization that's leading in the industry. It will be pretty hard to match in Star 260 quality, to be honest. Not like in Star 360, Cool Cam 3 is designed with immersive 360 content creation in mind. You know, those 360 videos you saw on my YouTube channel that get thousands of views? There is an other platform will support immersive 360 video very soon, and it is the largest one. You guess it, TikTok. Douyin, a Chinese version of TikTok, already support 360 video on their social media platform. 
and has a direct integration into their VR system, Pico Video. And Pico VR has that like the Neo 4. And this will come to US TikTok very soon. So it is a good time to invest in a 260 camera that can capture the future of social media. All 260 cameras can capture good image, but none can capture perfect in-sync 3D spatial audio until now. CoolCam 3 is the only 360 camera in the market can capture full channel and Masonic spatial audio with in-sync stabilization data that you can directly output using the free CoolCam Studio software. The output will work on YouTube VR and MetaQuest TV without any audio post-production or metadata injection. Here is an unedited render CoolCam 3 video. Drop it directly onto Adobe Premiere Timeline, you see a four channel audio instead of four mono audio track. Turn on Toggle VR Video Display and check Monitor and Sonic option right here. Now wear your headphone and take a listen. Sorry about the last bit, I am just wondering what ocean sound like in 3D spatial audio and it sound like shit. You can clearly hear the sound is in sync of my panning, it tell me which way is the ocean and which way is people talking with a moving camera. The result is a spatial audio experience in sync with the camera movement, super immersive. Remember. Audio is as important as video. If the video can move and is interactive, the audio should also be able to move with it and be spatial as well. Only Cool Camp 3 solved this problem and no one else does or care enough to solve it. So with the new Cool Camp 3 in the mix, which 260 camera should you get now for your next adventure? Who has the best image quality if pricing doesn't matter? Let's do a chartlet side by side comparison right now. Let's start with a sunny day with auto exposure. 90% of you will use 360 camera like this in this condition. We got Kitty, our model, going around 360 camera with kimchi. From left to right, we have Install 201X2, Install 201 RS1 inch. Cool Cam 3, Install 2 X3 in normal video mode, GoPro Max, and X3. Let's free frames on our model. Cool Cam 3 and GoPro Max got lucky and got the moment of the sun out of the cloud. When there's direct sunlight, the 360 action camera usually looks the best. Zoom in, we see even though 100s 1 inch is not in the ideal lighting situation, its image quality is still the best. Best with the best looking skin without any over sharpening artifacts. Surprisingly, Theta X with the latest firmware also looks really good on human skin in this situation. Ranking the second place. Since Cool Cam 3 did get good lighting here, so it is kind of unfair to use this frame as comparison. So we wait till the sun goes away behind the cloud later in the day to have a more even lighting to run the test. As you see now, exposure is pretty even across all cameras. Not a good condition to film 260 video, but a good condition for a fair camera comparison. One s one inch is still the best in image quality. Who is the second place? Well, I will say Insta 263. If you disagree, do comment below. I will provide this frame for download, link in description, so you can examine yourself without YouTube compression. Even though CoolCam 3 looks to have more details than the rest, it has very fuzzy over sharpening artifacts, which does not look good on human skin. This is an ISP level problem that Kenda can adjust, hopefully using a later firmware update. Giving us the option to turn off in sensor sharpening completely like the GoPro or 1S1 inch, I would rather have soft looking footage than artifacts 
effects looking destroying footage, especially on human skin. X2 is the worst looking among all camera. Theta X is not looking good when there's no sunlight. I can't look like a zombie. GoPro Max after 3 years still holding up pretty good. If GoPro just released their Max 2, it would probably be the best 360 action camera in the market. But instead, they released the Hero 12. What a disappointment. What do you think? Does GoPro just stop their innovation? Now, let's examine situation quality together. In the same distance, about one foot, they all break down, but One X2 and GoPro Max seem to hold up the best. It does not make me look unnaturally skinny like a pencil head. One Ix 1 inch and Cool Cam 3 are the worst at stitching. Not only the artifacts on my face, it also distorted the image to make me look tall and skinny. Maybe great for the skippity boob, yes, 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 guy, but definitely not for me. Cool Cam 3 has an offset lens, so the stitching is more challenged because of its physical body limitation. Kendall is aware of the problem and is actively working on the stitching software to improve the stitching result. I will update you when I have some news. Another underrated feature is 360 timelapse. If you are a timelapse photographer, you will be happy to know Cool Cam 3 timelapse can reach as low as 1 second interval both JPEG and DNG support in 64, 62 megapixel and long exposure with 60 seconds shutter speed. X3 in 72 megapixel can only go 3 second lowest interval. One as 1 inch is 21 megapixel in also 3 seconds interval. Significantly lower resolution than X3 and Cool Cam 3. If you like to do Star Lab, this is probably the best one shot to see camera for it. It will require more post-production compared to a click a button star lab feature in the one s one inch. But if you want the best image quality, editing DNG RAW with LR time lab will get you the best result. I will make a dedicated long exposure to see time lab tutorial, so don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Side note, I do not mean the time lab video feature in CoolCam 3. No timelapse video look good on any 360 camera, so don't use it. If you need 360 timelapse, learn how to capture timelapse using interval shooting, like all professional photographers do. Now, let's talk about 360 photography. CoolCam 3 is able to capture both JPEG and DNG RAW in 62 megapixel, and X3, which is actually higher resolution, in 72 megapixel, both JPEG and RAW. So X3 is better for 360 photo. Well, not really. Sensor size and lens quality are extremely important in 360 photography. Let's disregard the resolution for a bit, as I think most of the resolution claim is both on the consumer 360 camera. So we match all the 360 photo into the same size, and CoolCam 3 and Theta X has the best overall result. Trust me. It's not because of kimchi in one of the photos. Okay, let's be fair and look at area there is no kimchi. If you pause the video and really examine the plant right here, you see Cool Cam 3 with a lower resolution actually has a lot more detail than X3. One S 1 inch is close second, even though it's only in 21 megapixel. X3 I think is third, just slightly better than Theta X, X2, and GoPro. Cool Cam 3 does not just stop there. Like all Cool Cam series, it has one more trick up its sleeves, DNGA. This is the reason why professional 360 photographers around the world love to use Cool Cam series instead of other brands. Let me show you the result first. Here left is the DNGA result, on the right just the regular 62 megapixel Cool Cam 3 360 photo. The dynamic range is so so much better in the DNGA result with a more detail, a sharper image, and way better color and skin tone. This result looks like HDR, but it is not HDR. It captured as fast as regular photo with no HDR ghosting or motion blur. You can learn more about DNGA right here in this in-depth photography explainer video. It is not magic and it does require professional photo retouching to get this result. Cool Cam 3 does make it possible and easy to do, or at least 
easier than Theta Z1. Since CoolCam 3 captured individual DNG files and merged them for you using another app called Kandao Raw Plus, the final DNG is still in raw fisheye just like the Theta Z1. You can bring them in in the latest Adobe Lightroom to bring back all the highlights and shadow just like an HDR image without introducing any noise. Moreover, since it is Adobe DNG, you can leverage Adobe Lightroom's latest AI denoise and AI enhance, as I am showing you right now, to reduce noise and further improve detail with AI. Insta360, since you cannot edit the raw fisheye in DNG format, the only way is to use an expensive third-party AI software like Topaz Photo AI to enhance the quality. In my honest opinion, Topaz Photo AI is a waste of money if you have Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, which most professional photographers already own it. Don't listen to other influencers claiming Topaz Photo AI is great for juicy photography. If you have the original DNG, the free Adobe Lightroom has way better result. If I send you some money or deny you in any way, don't forget to give this video a like and drop me a thank you comment down below. Cool Game Studio, the desktop app, can then restitch your edited raw fisheye back in juicy photo with level adjustment, color rebalance, and even further chromatic aberration removal without in the best looking 60 photo you can get on any one shot 360 camera. Great for 360 virtual tour and 60 travel photography when HDR is not possible. Just like any product, CoolCam 3 is far from perfect. There are a couple of things I dislike. The biggest thing is its size. It's categorized as an action camera, but look at the size comparison with GoPro Max. It is still too big and too heavy as an action camera. There is a reason why there's no Max 2. GoPro cannot make a 360 camera small enough to pack with all this kind of image quality, so they pull the plug on the Max 2 and release the Hero 12 instead. Just yesterday, there is some truth in this. Insta 260 does not call the 1S 1 inch 260 camera an action 260 camera because it is way too big for action. Even though CoolCam 3 is a lot smaller and lighter than 1S 1 inch, it's not small enough for action sports. The second thing I will pick on CoolCam 3 is its battery. It's only 1600mAh, smaller than X3, which is 1800mAh, and same as GoPro Max. The CoolCam 3 does consume more power shooting than all other 360 cameras. The battery does not feel like 1600mAh as GoPro Max. It runs out really fast, like 30 minute continuous shooting instead of 40 minute ish as they listed. So buy an extra battery if you are going outdoor with this. I save the best for last. The strongest advantage of CoolCam 3 is its price. It's only 349 US dollars, $100 less than in Star to see X3, and $450 less than in Star to see One RS 1 inch, and still $50 less than GoPro Max. And yes, a brand new camera with a larger sensor and less price than a three years old GoPro Max. If you are price sensitive, nothing beat that. This can be a great entry-level 360 camera for you to shoot immersive 360 video with the ability to create reframe video on your social media. Yes, it does not have the AI ecosystem of shot lab, effects, and app-based editing from Insta360, but Insta360 product does not do 360 video natively. So at the end of the day, if you want a good, viral-worthy reframe video or 360 video, you still need to do it in professional editing software like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. So I'd rather save some money on camera so you can invest in DaVinci Resolve to create professional looking 6K to 60 video. And this is what this YouTube channel is all about. Teaching you the professional way to edit 360 video so you can take on professional jobs or create jaw-dropping content like this to wow the internet. So 
Don't forget to subscribe. If you are new here, we will have a series of new 360 editing tutorial using both Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve that focus on the new Cool Cam 3 with spatial audio editing. If you're a timeline photographer, you don't want to miss the next Cool Cam 3 tutorial with LR Timelap. If you want to watch a 360 video capture 100% of the Cool Cam 3, check out our Pacific Northwest 360 travel video right here. I will see you in the next video or see you in person in MetaConnect soon. Ciao.